Hi, I'm Mary Dunchamont with the Clemson Insider, and I'm here with Jamie Skalski today. How are you doing? <laughs> So you were the captain and leader of one of the best defenses in the country. What attributes helped you get to that position? Hmm. Um, I think accountability, number one. I think when you're going to you know, lead a group uh, and, and be one of the best in the country, everyone's got to be on the same page and understand that there's a standard to uphold. So I think accountability across the board is key. And you got to have a bunch of guys that are determined to get the job done, too, and have love for the game. So. You know, as long as you have guys that are passionate about what they're doing and care, I mean, all that will come. You know, all the success and, and being one of the best defenses in the country will come. Mm -hmm. So you're a role model to many. What advice would you give to up-and-coming players who want to emulate the career you put here out at Clemson? Well, first, the first advice I give is you don't want to emulate me. I think you want to be yourself as much as possible. Um, I always, I live by the saying, comparison is the thief of joy. So, you know... For any young player out there who wants to, who envies me maybe, or wants to be the next me, don't because you're not. You're never going to be a me, but you can be the best you, you know. And I think that you know goes way further. So I think just completely believing in yourself and your ability and making you know the position your own and, and making making it your own, and making it unique in your own way. And I think I've done a good job at that. I think a lot of players that have come through have done a great job at that. So any young guy who's looking to do the same and just be yourself, be your own. If you could think of three people who impacted your career most, who would you think of? Mm, that's a good one. Um, Brent Venables, for sure. He's had a huge impact on me, and just as far as my love for the game and completely understanding it and seeing it in a way I've never you know, knew it was out there. Um, I think Ben Bowler. Just because, and I don't even think he knows how much he has, because I was one of those guys who would, would wanted to be like him. And, uh, and you know, I, I kind of took his advice and just making it your own. So I just admired. He, he kind of made it seem possible to me, seeing the guy like that do it. And then, um, hmm, then my dad. My dad, for sure. He just, the love for the game and, uh, and just showed me how to work. And, and we still you know, share that bond today, even though he's passed. Out of all the memories you have at Clemson, could you pick potentially a favorite one? Um, the first one that comes to mind, I think, was just the very first national championship in 2016. Uh, I mean, that year was like a roller coaster for me. I went through a lot personally, and then that was the first one in what, like 30-something years. And... Um, so that one was special because I, I remember being so emotional after that game. It was just, I can see it right now. And then, of course, the other ones, you know, the other, the, the six ACCs and the, the, the other national championship. But that first one, that was special. I think that was like the changing of a guard almost. And then we went on a run we did. How do you think the team becomes so special and is able to succeed in such a way? I think it's a direct reflection of the leadership of the team. I think you got to look directly at Coach Sweeney and the kind of culture he's created, accountability, drive, and you know, and passion for all these things. And he only brings in guys that have that, and I think it shows. I think the kind of guys we have in our program are guys who possess all those you know traits. And I mean, we just keep building and building and building. It keeps getting better and better and better. And so I think it's a direct you know testament to Coach Sweeney and what he's done. Mm -hmm. After six years as a Clemson Tiger, what do you think your next steps are going forward? Well, hopefully, I play about 10, <laughs> 10 in the NFL or something, you know, but, uh, and then coaching eventually. I know whatever I'm going to do, I'm going to be around the game of football. Mm -hmm. It's um, something I'm really good at, something I'm passionate about. Uh, it doesn't feel like work to me. You know, I get up every day with a smile on my face knowing I get to do something part of this game. So, uh, hopefully playing for a little while, a little bit longer. And then definitely just, you know, coaching one day somewhere. Yeah, you got to do what you love and do a lot of it. Exactly. <laughs> In a perfect world, if you could pick an NFL team you could go to, what would your dream team be? Oh, it's got to be the Cowboys. Just because <laughs> I've been a fan my whole life. My dad's from Dallas. My family's from, from Dallas. My dad's side of the family, I mean. And, uh, man, I've, I was born and raised watching the Cowboys. And uh, so... That would be my dream. Team. Sundays belong to the Cowboys. Yeah, they do. <laughs> I don't know so much anymore, but I guess I shouldn't say that. No, right? <laughs> if you could say one thing to the Clemson family as almost 
an exit speech, what would you say? Man, just a, a giant thank you. Uh, it was six incredible years. Uh, the amount I've grew, you know, on and off the field is incredible. Uh, you know, even being done, you know, I'm still kind of being around the city. This, they, they, everyone still embraces you with open arms and shows you love. And that's special, man. I think just no matter you've been gone 10 years or you got done a week ago, man, people, people appreciate you and, and they, sh they care about you and they show love for you. And, you know, you can only try to do the same when, when you play for a team like Clemson and, and get to play for fans like Clemson fans. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming in. I'm Mary Dunchamont with the Clemson Insider, and this is Jamie Skalski with the Inside Scoop. It was fun.